Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a really easy, really glam makeup look. I did a nice smoky eye and a red lip. So if you want to see how to create this look right here, just carry on watching. And remember to like and subscribe. Hi guys! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to first start off with the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Peach Smoothie. And with the Sigma E35 brush, I'm just going to run this into my crease. I've already primed my eyes just with a bit of concealer and the face powder that I was using. So any sort of primer will do. So yeah, I'm just using this as my initial transition colour. I absolutely love Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I think this colour is absolutely perfect for a transition. So just keep blending that away. I'm not taking it up too high but I am just concentrating it just above my crease. Just in backwards windswept motions. Keeping this really warm. I'm going to go in with my Semi Sweet Chocolate Palette by Too Faced and using the colour Peanut Butter I'm just going to use an Anastasia Fluffy Brush and just deepen up my crease with this colour I want to keep this shadow quite warm I'm using a lot of warm toned shadows I'm going back in with the Sigma Brush I'm just going to blend that out, whatever's left of the peach smoothie, just to diffuse any harsh lines. Then going in with a Morphe blending brush, I'm just going to use the colour uh, Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek again. I love this rich toned brown. And I'm just going to dab my brush in here, I want to get quite a lot of product on, just tap any excess off and just concentrate that on the outer portions of my eye. This is just going to deepen up the look but still keeping it warm. And I'm just lightly putting that into my crease just to blend in with any lines. And just keep on packing that colour on until you get your desired effect. Then again, go on back in with my Sigma brush and just blending out any harsh lines. I think the key to a smoky eye is just to blend. So just keep going back and forth just until all the lines are diffused. And that's how it should look. To darken it up a bit more, I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used the Cocoa Bear on and in the Semi Sweet Chocolate Palette again, I'm just going to get the black colour but any black eyeshadow will be absolutely fine and just the tiniest bit of this, I'm just going to define the outer corner of my eye just a tad bit more. With black eyeshadows, you just want to use a really light hand just because it can go severely wrong. <laughs> again, back in with my Sigma brush and just blend in any lines. Now for the sparkle, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going to be using the colour Primavera, this gorgeous gold colour right here and with a small definer brush, I'm just going to spray this for the bit of Fix Plus I'm just going to pack that into the inner half of my eye I love this colour, look how bright it is. Came with the Sigma brush just to diffuse any lines one more time. You just want to use the brush that you used your transition colour on just so there's hardly any product on the brush and the transition should be a lighter shade anyway to just blend everything in. I'm just going to go in with the NYC liquid liner and draw a straight line across my lash line but if you like a more winged liner feel free to do this now. Just starting in the inner corner. The gravity pulls you straight down. Earth from a bird's eye view. 
In my waterline today I'm going to be using a Barry M Coal Eyeliner and this is in the shade 28, I think that's what it's called. It's just a lovely bronzy colour. I don't want to go too black just because I want to keep it very simple. However, if you did like a black, feel free to pop that in there as well. Line. And my tight line also. It should look something like that. Going back in with the Morphe brush, I'm just going to take the shade Cocoa Bear one more time and just run that under my lower lash line. I love smoking out my lower lash line, I think it's so pretty. And you want to take that right in. Now with a pencil brush, I'm just going to take the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Ice Queen. And this is such a bright white colour. And it's just going to give such an intense inner corner highlight. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to place that in the inner corner. Just widen up the eyes. And I'm just going to take whatever's left on the brush and just run it underneath my brow bone. And that's how it should look so far. Now off camera I'm just going to pop some eyelashes on. Today I'm going to be using the eyelashes by Eyelure. Uh, I think they're called number 100, they're volume lashes. So I'm just going to pop them on off camera and I'll be right back. Okay so I just applied the lashes off camera so this is how the eye should look now. And now I'm going to move on to the lips. So before applying lipstick, you just want to make sure that your lips are fully hydrated. I like to use Vaseline, but any chapstick would be absolutely fine. I'm then going to go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place All Day Lip Liner, and this is just in the shade Red. I'm just going to start off in the Cupid's bow, and then I'm just going to follow the natural lip line of my lip. do the same on the other side. I'm just going to go underneath then on the bottom lip. And then I like to slightly just minimise my cupid's bow just to make my lips look a bit fuller. I'm then just going to colour in my lips with this lip liner. Once the lip liner's on, you're going to go in with the red lipstick of your choice. Today I'm going to be using the Yves Rocher lipstick in the shade Frambois. And I'm just going to apply this just straight from the tube. With your concealer brush, you're just going to go underneath your lips and just tidy up anywhere that you might have gone a bit out. And this is how the lips should look once they're done. There we go guys, so this is the final makeup look. So if you like this look, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be sure to see you next time. Bye guys!